settle down, guys. Settle down. Yes, that's right. It's Mr. Gabrus. And I'm the substitute. But I'm not like any substitute teacher you've ever had before. You're on a game show and you're about to compete for $5,000. And it starts right now. This crazy ambush game show is a master class in must-see Laugh Out Loud TV. Mr. Gabrus, why are you just playing with that globe up there? That's because these are buzzers. Oh! Looking a little bit more like a game show now. We got cash prize, we got buzzers, we got handsome hosts. The substitute's first lesson for the students is subtraction. 20 of them must be cut down to five potential winners of his case full of cash. Our first round of questions are things you should know, things you should have learned in school. Time to find out which students have been staying awake in class. All right, Andrea Berger and Alana Keffer. Oh. Yeah. What Shakespeare play is about a feud between the Montague and Capulet families? Oh! <laughs> Juliet. That is correct, you are in and you are out! Now we're gonna do things you do know. Round two sees the question switch from classroom topics to stuff the students actually like. Video games, YouTube videos, and music. Mike DeWitt versus Melissa Boscarino! <laughs> what video game franchise new installment, Black Ops, sold seven million copies in its first 24 hours on sale in 2010? Call of Duty. Call of Duty, COD is correct. I'm so sorry, you're out. And you are in. Uh, I'm a cool teacher. I play video games, all right? Sorry. I actually am a cool teacher, but a loser of an adult. All right, so. The head-to-head -head bouts are over, and five winners become the finalists in round three. This round is things you do. You're going to have to perform in front of your classmates. It's a physical test. Now the winners must perform for their classmates. This challenge is called Drama Club. In this fishbowl are styles. You'll pick out a style and perform the Pledge of Allegiance in that style. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. That bear's getting closer. And to the Republic for descent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like charades. <laughs> With liberty and justice for all. Oh! The substitute awards grades from F to A. One grade A student now has the chance to win $5,000. You get an A, baby! But he has to fight for it. He hasn't won it yet, folks. Oh, but he hasn't won what? it yet, folks. Yeah, you gotta go on to a final round, my friend, and face one of these four people in the final round. Now remember, if you win, you take home $5,000. If your challenger wins, which you guys will vote for, you're splitting that money. You might be right Who wants to see Dane go against? I can count, so I think it's gonna be Dane versus Mike in the finals. The A grade student and challenger compete to come up with answers that match the most popular responses that have already been given to Mr. Gravis' questions by 100 high school kids. Whose ever answer to the question is more popular gets a point. And the first one to three points wins the $5,000. What is something you should always bring on a date? Mike answered flowers, Dane answered his heart. Sadly, Flowers is not on the list, Mike. Zero people bring flowers on a date. Come on. But, Dane, 5% said personality or heart. They bring it with them. So, Dane. It all comes down to this. Two points to two points. The person who gets a more popular answer on this question either gets $5,000 or shares $5,000. This is the last round. What do your parents do to punish you? Dane, you wrote something that looks like Grounded. Yeah. And Grounded has 24% of the votes. 24% of the choices. Oh, God. Now, Mike, you wrote Phone Taken Away. Now, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna, uh, oh. Okay, Mike, Mike, 17%, I'm sorry, Dane wins! Back to basics with a bang.
and a grade A format that's an object lesson in how to make game shows young, fun, and unforgettable as your first date. I'm the to do it, and I'm out of here, Dane. Distribute evenly. I'm